Indian Coin View Presents Coins from Indian Princely States Part 11, Wanaman Cash, Puttakotai Princely State History of Puttakotai Puttakotai was a princely state in southern part of British India. The kingdom of Puttakotai was founded by Raghunatha Raya Tun Diamond in 1680 as a feudatory of Ramanad. It grew with subsequent additions from Tanjore, Siva Ganga, and Ramanad. Raghunatha Raya Tun Diamond had served as a distinguished military commander and governor of Thirumayam under his brother-in-law, Raghunatha Kilavan Sethupathi of Ramanad. He received Thirumayam Fort and the surrounding lands for his many services in 1686, when he built himself a new seat at Puttakotai, meaning new fort, from which the state takes its name. He and his successors established their independence by making alternative alliances with the rulers of Ramanad, Madura or Tanjore. During the time of Raja Vijaya Raya, there was an alliance between himself, Nawab of the Carnatic and the British in 1752. He provided both military and material aid to the latter in the many wars and campaigns against Chanda Sahib and the French, Tanjore, Madura, and the Maravans. The Raja voluntarily accepted British protection in 1763, though without any formal written agreement, merely the good word of two staunch allies who had been faithful to each other through many vicissitudes of fortune. His grandson's services during the wars against Tipu Sultan and the French during the latter part of the century secured this status and also brought additions of territory. One of the staunch allies of the British East India Company in the Carnatic, anglo mysore and Paliga Wars, the kingdom was brought under the company's protection in 1800 as per the system of subsidiary alliance. This was arguably unavoidable since the Thun Diamonds were much menaced in that period by a resurgent Mysore, ruled by Hyder Ali and Tipu Sultan. When Tipu Sultan sought to leverage the power of the French against his British adversaries, Pilthu Kotai, in common with its neighbours, such as Tanjavur and Travancore, found it expedient to ally with the British. Raja Raja Gopala Thun Diamond, the last and ninth in the line of Thun Diamond rulers, was selected by the British government and was crowned when he was six years old. After Indian independence in 1947, the Puttakotai princely state was amalgamated with the Indian Union on 3 April 1948 and became a division in Tiruchirappalli district. Currently it is a part of state of Tamil Nadu in southern part of India. This one Aman cash was issued under of the reign King Martanda Bhairavatan Diamond. The machine struck coins were minted at Birmingham and later by the Calcutta Mint. These coins bear no date and no mint mark. So it is almost impossible to deduce the year of mintage and the issuer. This was a standard circulation coin and minted between 1889 to 1906. The coin is made of copper metal and has round shape. It has a diameter of 11.5 mm and thickness of 1.5 mm. It weighs around 1.25 grams. The coin has a smooth edge. In the obverse of the coin, there is an image of goddess Brihad Hambal, presiding goddess of the Thun Diamond rulers of Puttakotai, seated in lotus posture. Around that there is a dotted circle. In reverse, Vijayar is written in Telugu legend, which means victory. A plain circle is present around the writing. It is also considered that Vijayar is written on the coin to show its connection with the great Vijayanagara empire. The cost of this coin is between 200 to 500 Indian rupees as per market rates of June 2020. If you find this video helpful in some way, like the video. Also do subscribe to the YouTube channel and click the bell icon so that you will not be missing any videos on coins and currencies. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.